It's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 21 of Star Trek for Pretty Care. So, I mean, this is a little weird to be watching this, like, at well, almost 1.30 in the morning on the Thursday, because originally, um, it came out yesterday, even though I've been waiting for this since Sunday. I would have had it out, like, early, really, like, around, I think it came out around, like, 2, 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I would have had it out early, but... I went to the store, I was on my way home, and we had a really bad hurricane, and power went out, and such. so I didn't have power for, like, a couple of hours until later on, and then by the time power came on, I was just like, I really don't feel like recording anything. I, I've been, like, procrastinating it all day today, until now, at one something in the morning. Hell, I got two other shows I'm gonna record, but I'm recording those tomorrow when I have sleep and I'm well-rested, but I still have energy. I haven't even eaten food yet, and I'm hungry as hell, so yeah. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. So we just got, yeah. Okay. Okay, I mean, it, it, it's, it's nice to see this again, but I wasn't expecting this to be shown twice. I mean, well, you know, at least she's giving me something because since Carol and Tuesday isn't coming out today, I, I get at least some Angela until the 13th. <laughs> uh, Really? I would be, it would be really surprising if after this they played the opening. You want to play the opening? No. Good. No, you're still playing. <laughs> I, I think, like, literally, when you're interest, <laughs> I can't even say it, introducing a new character, this is just my opinion about it. I would wait. I wouldn't even show the opening unless it's something new, and I feel like they're gonna show the new opening in this. I'm not 100% sure, because they're gonna have new stuff, and it's mostly with her. But if they don't, we, we got episode 22. That looks new. Is that new? Because, yeah, that's new. Because that wasn't in last week's episode. <laughs> Are you getting down, puppy? Do, do you even know what you're doing? You don't know what you're doing. No, he got down. My puppy. No, it's the same... Well, no, there are people, brand new people who were shown. But it's literally the same thing. There's, li there's like, only a couple of new things in this. <laughs> She's not even added in it yet. <laughs> so, of course, when 22 comes out this weekend, hopefully, um, we'll get the new thing. So, then are we going to show the new ending this week, too?
but I mean, the biggest thing is what I'm hoping when 22 comes out next week is that I don't have to wait several days later, like with this episode, because this irked me just knowing in the back of my mind, I still had to do this show. Mm. Is she? She is gone there. The leader, basically. The the thing that yeah that's what it is. Yeah, I have to feel sorry for her though. I mean, that's the only person I want to really trust, and it was taken away from her. Just one yeah. But how you don't have any more energy? The only one who could defeat her is Cosmo. Y'all four are literally gonna transform when y'all have no okay. Okay. You know, hey, if they're like, if Sailor Moon can do it, I can do it too. So mm. Oh God, Cody. Mm. Of course, my phone's not gonna shut the fuck up. See, 
I feel like Kappa is going to be very similar to, um, what was his freaking name? I think it was Shut from freaking Girlfriends is pretty here. And the relationship between Shut and uh, Flora, how it just kept going on and on and on. And so technically, in my opinion, he was considered the big bad because what's your face was like gone like that. And he was the only one that was left. I'm still not going to do anything because she's too not really OP, but kind of OP. Uh, I mean, I kind of want to say they're going to lose in this episode, but no, this is technically the episode where Cosmo needs to get like her wine or whatever. To defeat I won, and I feel like it is coming. It's just gonna come at the last possible second, of course. See, but the thing is, when the heck are y'all gonna do a freaking episode that focuses more on these characters, especially like their backstory? And that's typically towards the end of the dang series, which we have a long freaking way to go. No, Cosmo's going to get her. Come on now. It's so hot. Told you. It looks like a, pff, I can't even, mm -mm. I gotta see a little, another angle on it. The fact that it wasn't hers anywhere, like, mm -hmm. Can I 
please have the music to this? Like, god dang. I'm sorry, but, like, Cosmo has, like, the best everything. <laughs> I mean, Elena and Madoka still have the best is, but, like, my baby, my honey. It's cute, though. I don't know if I would spend money on it. I have to see, like, because the way the lights are shining off of it, you can barely really see it. I would have to, like, go on YouTube and look through the Japanese parts of Pretty Care to see if somebody has the toy. Just see how it looks. But it looks nice. It kind of looks like, um, I'm trying to think. You know, like, well, the twirling part, the twisting part with that kind of reminds me of a snow cone in a way. So I like, am. Oh, it's cute, though. I buy it. Oh. <laughs> I still love her though. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh. oh my god <laughs> uh, I know they're selling keychains and I want one I just don't want to leave her to the lane. like so well like so damn cute I just want to cuddle her. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Okay, three more left. Hopefully we get it before the, like, episode 25. Or at least before episode 30. Cody, wait to stop. It's mm -hmm. pretty well. Basically. <laughs> huh? But wouldn't it just be better if she stayed in space and then you guys come when you can? Exactly. Uh, no. Oh, but then she can make her own room. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but you gotta be like Ichigo from Tokyo Mimiyo and hide your ears and your cat tail. You can't have them just pop out anytime you want. Don't be like that. Don't be like her when Messiah came and be like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, I feel like watching Tokyo Mimi now. This dude look like a dang knight. What the? What? Okay. Mm hmm. I gotta say, he looks kind of like one of the characters from the Thundercats. I can't remember who, but honestly, if you've seen, you probably know who I'm talking about. <laughs> no! Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Just like it is just so bad. It's okay. It'll take time and you'll get used to them. It's a pretty name, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, there may be times where I may call you just Blue Cat or Mal, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's on her way home. I mean, I gotta say, it was a good episode, really. I mean, they got back a pin and a brand new pin as well. And a brand new member with a really nice perfume slash... I don't know what else to call it. It's nice, and I kind of want it, but then I, there's other angles that I need to see for it. It did show a little bit more with it, but it's like... It's just... Mm, but it's cute. I like it. I mean, for I want to finally wake up from her... Um, quote unquote kind of coma being knocked out for a couple of minutes and such for like two episodes and to see uh Bakanyan one more time and then in the end seeing uh Yumi instead it's still a little upsetting because I mean they had a relationship and now knowing that that character is not real anymore because of certain reasons it, it is a little upsetting because I always really kind of liked the dynamic relationship between the two it is still interesting and such, and I don't really know how the show is going to go. But since we now only really have three pins to get left, I'm like, um, well, three pins that are left. I'm hoping that they get it by episode 13 because I don't want them to stretch it out so much. And since uh, Darkness is finally in the group as the big baddie and not being stuck in his diamond for so many episodes now, 
I'm I'm just wondering like what the heck is he gonna do? I don't want him to just be sitting there the whole time like being Thanos. Just saying. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yes! Oh my god, finally! Her father is coming! Yes! Oh my god. But yes, don't make him, don't make the big bad, the main villain, be like a Thanos and sit on his freaking throne for like half of this show. Well, technically, in a way, he did, even though we're not at episode 25 or whatever. Yeah, we're not really at the halfway point. Um... But let it be, besides this episode, have another episode where he does come in, the curse try to defeat them, they can't, and then eventually when the final battle comes, when they have to go against him, then kick his ass, boom, dies forever. I mean, because, like, they're going back to, like, so many other pretty cute animes in the past, there have been some iconic villains, and then there have been villains who are, in my opinion, where... I thought they were going to be really, really interesting to the plot, and then by the end of the story, they kind of just let it down, and I felt like I really didn't sympathize with the villain, didn't know the villain and such, so I'm hoping that what they do, and they kind of do it a little bit early, because since the fact is we now have Oni slash Kirk Cosmo, we got her early, I'm hoping that with backstory on this whole, on the, on the bad guys, we get a little more backstory really early, at least before, I don't want to wait until, like, the last five or maybe even ten episodes of this series going into next year, and we're now learning about villains, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I'm sorry for, number one, my ranting, but, like, this is something, as someone who's been watching Pretty Hair for a long freaking time, and I can compare Pretty Cure to practically almost any magical girl series that I have seen. Number one, including uh, freaking Sailor Moon. Because, number one, it literally is 100% like Sailor Moon and stuff. And some people have made, made this, made Sailor Moon, so whatever. The company-wise and stuff. But with Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon Crystal, like really more of Crystal rather than OG Sailor Moon, it went more in depth on the certain things about like Feral and the rest of the groups from each bad guy in every season. And with this, they only really give the bad guys, like, <laughs> not even that long, especially the main baddie, like, a quote-unquote kind of really good arc, at least have, like, two or three episodes, if they have time. But knowing them, that, like I said, they probably have everything done, as I've said with freaking I Cut Through Friends, and they're not gonna do anything. But if they don't, it's okay, I'll be fine with it. But at the same time, like, at least I, I might be a little biased and pissed about it. But like I said, I can get over it. But be nice because I really want to know more about these characters, especially like Iwan and Kappa and uh, the red one with the mask and the long nose. He kind of reminds me of freaking Crow from Persona 5. I, I want to know a lot more about these characters. And I, I feel like, you know, how I think Kitty Kitty Pretty Kirala Mode kind of did it and a little bit of Go Princess. Because I can't remember if Hagato did it. I know Hagato did it with the villain, but not really with any other past, you know, uh, minor villains before we got to the major. When someone kind of, quote unquote, died, they had maybe an episode or maybe a moment where we got to see, like, the flashback of what they were before they were evil and such, because they did it a lot with, um, with, uh, with Picario and, uh, a la mode. And I, I think they did it with someone else. And I don't remember what show, what season of show it was for pretty here, but yeah, other than that, it was a really good episode. And I'm really excited to see, you know, her dad next week, because honestly, I've been waiting for this. It's going to be like, can you get a la mode all over again? When Ichika's mom finally came and I was like, thank Jesus, like, oh my god. And I, I'm just hoping that with this, they we get to see their relationship play out. Because, I mean, typically, we've always really seen... We've only seen, like, one episode with her and her mom. And then her grandparents are sort of the... They're, like, wishy-washy. Like, one minute they're there, and then the next minute they're not. And there's not really a focus on them. And I'm hoping that we get a little more of a focus on them because if you think about 
Hannah from last season, she had a really, they showed a lot of good relationship moments between her and her grandma. And I'm hoping that can happen with, um, he, he kind of family or he got he got I think I'm getting it mixed up because I'm thinking about so many other things. Um, but give me more things. I just want a lot of things with the families for all these girls. Even though Uni and her situation, I'm hopefully we get her family sorted soon. But yeah, other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Choice episode 21 of Star Trek Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys, hopefully, next Sunday. If not Sunday, on Monday. Or maybe even probably on Wednesday or Thursday. Whenever the heck episode 22 comes out. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.